Hello there, this is Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority here in Moorhead City, North Carolina. And this is where we talk about uh, how to take your real estate investing business to the next level, how to get funding for your deals if you don't have the money or don't know where to get the money, um, how we track foreclosures, how we rehab houses, uh, how we sell houses in three days or less, and how we automate uh, the entire business. So anyway, um, glad you could join in here for a few minutes. This is uh, my video blog. I'm actually in my car and on my way to the office this morning. And so safety first, let me get out of mine and Carol Joy's driveway here and uh, get on the road and make sure no cars are coming. And I'm gonna share with you here <clears throat> in the next uh, few minutes, most of these video blogs are pretty short, but hopefully you find very valuable. I'm going to share with you right now um, the most important time management secret or revelation, if you will, that I have discovered in actually all of my, in my entire business career. And so let me share with you a short story as to how, how all this came about. It was about uh, five years ago. Um, Carol Joy and I at the time had been buying and selling houses, investing in real estate, <clears throat> single family houses, flipping them. We had been at that time, we're in our 13th year now of uh, the buying and selling house business. So at the time, uh, I guess we'd been in it for about eight years. And I came home one night we had dinner and it got, I guess it was about 10 p.m. at night. I walked through the kitchen and Carol Joy was sitting there at the kitchen table with a couple of checkbooks open, bills stacked yay high, and she was crying there at the kitchen table. And I said, babe, what in the world is going on? Uh, you know, what's the problem? And she said, I can't handle it anymore. And I said, what do you mean you, you can't handle it anymore? And she said, I can't do all this anymore. I can't handle the bookkeeping. I, I can't handle everything you know, that I'm doing in the business. <clears throat> and let me tell you something, right there, right then in that moment, I made a commitment and I made a decision and that decision was, no longer am I going to allow our business to run us. We are going to start running the business. In other words, you can be making all the money in the world, but if you are not enjoying <clears throat> what that income should give you, if you're not enjoying time with your family, um, if you're not having the lifestyle that, you know, I mean, why replace a job that you left from the corporate world or working for the employer, and now you're working for yourself, but you're just, you know, doing another job, working 60, 70 hours a week as we were. And so I said, you know what, Jay, you are not going to see your Carol Joy sitting at that kitchen table at 10 o'clock at night crying because she can't handle it and you know the business the business is, is running us so I set out on a mission and that mission was is to start automating and that's the word that's the key word right there start automating everything in the business that can be delegated out in fact, that night when this happened, I was reminded of a formula that I had heard my dad say many, many years prior to. My dad, Wallace Connor, he was known as the 3D man. And the 3D stands for dictate, delegate, and disappear. <laughs> and then, of course, he would show back up when people you know, least expected it. But that's a very powerful formula. Dictate, delegate, and disappear. In other words, outsource everything that you can. 
And you know what I found out is when I started outsourcing and delegating and, and automating, you know, there's a bunch of people out there that can do a whole lot of what I was doing actually a whole lot better than I can do. And so I discovered this world of virtual assistants. And in fact, I'm going to do a series of video blogs on how uh, we started using virtual assistants in our business and how to this day we use virtual assistants in our business to really automate the majority of everything. In fact, if you really boil it down, right now in the business, I am actually in the business maybe, maybe five hours a week. And everything else is delegated and, and automated. And you see, the, the way we really make money and really build wealth in business is by automation. And here's the definition of automation. Automation is either having a human being, other people doing the task, or and having technology do the task. I still use 24-hour recording message hotlines that answers uh, uh, the majority of our calls that are coming in from either potential buyers or potential sellers <clears throat> of houses. But the point I was getting ready to make on how we actually build wealth <clears throat> in business is we actually build wealth, and don't miss this, because this was a huge revelation for me. The way we really build wealth in business and personally is by working on your business instead of working in your business. All right, so let that soak in. Working on your business means working on ways to improve it. See, the long term always pays off much more significantly than the short term. Okay, so when I'm working on my business, I'm coming up with ways and strategies to improve the business. Working in my business means I'm doing tasks that have already been decided to be done that can actually be delegated out to someone else or to technology. Let me share with you another big re revelation as it relates to automation, and this is huge. I didn't discover this until about, or I didn't discover this, um, the, the way to look at tasks that are being done in the business until also about five years ago. And so I want you to get this. Whenever you are doing a task or an activity in your business that can be delegated out to someone else to do, Whatever you can pay that person to do for that task, if you're doing it, that's how much you are earning in that moment or in that hour in time. For example, if you're doing a task that you can pay someone else $10 an hour to do, and by the way, there's lots of tasks that can be done for only 10 bucks an hour. If you are doing that task, and you can pay someone else $10 an hour to do that task, you, don't miss this, you are earning only $10 an hour, okay? Our average profit on single family homes these days is $62,000 per deal. My total involvement in any particular house is maybe two hours, personally. That's called $30,000 an hour that I make on those houses. He said, well, Jay, what in the world do you do? What I do, don't miss this, what I do is make decisions. It took me an entire year to automate uh, our entire buying and selling house business. But my goal, because of that night, when I walked in and Carol Joy was crying at the desk, my goal was to automate everything to where the only thing I do is make decisions. Which houses do we want to make offers on? How much do I want to make the offer on? Or how much do I want the offer to be? What are we going to sell it for? And then everything else is delegated out. Now, you won't get there overnight, okay? But uh, I, can, I can show you step by step exactly how we have automated our business 
and how you can actually you know get your life back as i said uh, i'm going to share with you um, in some upcoming uh, video blogs um, you know how we exactly and it'll be a, probably a three-part series probably only about you know nine or ten minutes for each video blog uh, a series of how we use uh, virtual assistants how we find them um, and etc okay so hopefully you have found uh, this video blog helpful the importance of automating your business dictate delegate disappear you run it don't let it run you I'll also be sharing with you how I find uh, the people that helps us in our business and helps us automate everything. So if you have found this uh, video blog um, helpful, uh, you may be hearing this audio in a podcast, um, you know, like it, uh, you can go down go down below the video uh, you can share it with your uh, with your friends your fellow real estate investors um, uh, if you like it uh, also uh, if you have not claimed the free audio I have for you it's called how I raised two million one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in less than 90 days for funding for my business that's when I was cut off from the banks it's a free audio you can go down below the video claim your free gift and uh, that'll be sent out to you right away all right um with that uh thank you for joining in uh by the way comment i'd love to get your feedback and your comments you can also comment below all right have a fantastic day i'm jay connor the private money authority here in moorhead city north carolina helping you take your real estate investing business to the next level here's to you and all the success have a fantastic day and i'll catch you later and talk to you soon bye for now